Hello everybody, my name is Prinder Productions and today I have another weekly vlog. This time I have Bob sitting on a chair made of these bricks. They are the 1x4 with stud on the side which I used to make this in the background. That's how they're all being held up on this base plate here. And so I basically I sold a Lego set on eBay and I had to use the Ziploc bag that I got these in to put the bricks on the set in and so these were lying around and my brother built this and put Bob on it and I thought it was just good enough to show you in this vlog and I, you know, I like it, actually. I mean there is one issue here how like this stud is sort of goes lower than that and so it's sort of at a slant slightly but apart from that it is, I think it's quite cool, quite a nice chair for Bob to sit on. I also have the Gone Batty Minion, he was in he may have been in last week's vlog. Oh no, I just showed the packet. And so these are what they look like together. <coughs> Moving on. Uh, it is Crack and Track Week on Epic Reviewers. And today is the Corgi Toys Eddie Stobart. So you can click the card if you want to see that review and Crack and Track video. I do like this truck a lot. It's quite cool. I do like the Corgi Toys line, which packets look like this for the one boxes of one, like vehicle. I do like them because they're sort of more realistic cars than what Hot Wheels do normally. I mean, they normally do, you know, cooler cars, but they're not really very common. They so Corgi are doing the more common cars. I mean, you wouldn't normally see a McLaren P1. Hot Wheels do the more exciting cars, whereas and like movie cars I guess, whereas the Corgi Toys line they do more realistic cars that you see every day, they do fire engines, ambulances and they're all licensed because Corgi have all those licenses so you can get Mercedes, ambulance or a Scania fire truck or a Land Rover police car in some packs and so that's all very cool. Also yesterday I was able to find the Hot Wheels G case, Mistretta MXR Super Treasure Hunt and the regular, very nice. If you want to know how to tell a car is a super treasure hunt, you check the wheels. Look, this one's got the normal five spoke wheels. This one's got the wheels, the uh, realistic wheels with the rubber tyres on the bottom. See the tread there and no tread there. And the rubber tyres can come off. Also, now behind the cards, behind the cards on the Euro packaging, you have this gold treasure hunt symbol there, which you can sometimes see, and TH logo. They also have the Spectra Flame paint instead of the regular, so you'll see lots of these, not so many of these. I did not expect to see this, I've been into the same shop a few times recently. I've seen many of these in the shop, but never one of these, and I was really excited to find this. I have once seen a treasure, a super treasure hunt before. This is it here. As you can see, it has a treasure hunt, the super treasure hunt logo there, but because it's a 2014 car, there is no gold super treasure hunt sign there, or gold treasure hunt sign there, and as you can see, tread on the tyres here, no tread there, and the spectrum frame paint, and also, sometimes they put more paint on the, like more tampos on the super treasure hunts, and so this is a case where they have done that, whereas on that one they have not, so that's very cool, very nice indeed, I like it, and again, there's Bob. But next week, the vlog will be on Saturday, because I'm leaving on Saturday to go to France on a school trip, this water sports trip. And so that means there will only be videos on Epic Reviewers the week after next week, which is coming tomorrow, basically. So, yeah, that's why the vlog will be early, because I won't be here on Sunday to upload it, but I will be here Saturday morning to upload it. Well, or, or it will be on Friday, and then I can schedule videos on Epic Reviewers. And so I won't be here next week, or the week after the next week, to do any videos. So that's what I'm going to have to schedule videos for that week. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for watching. You can subscribe to see more videos like this, more vlogs, and mystery unbaggings of these. And these. And other stuff as well. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.